Hi guys, welcome to Heavy Metal HQ and in today's video we're going to be ranking the Pip Act album. So without further ado, let's get into this. 9. It's Digimortal. Following up from an album like Obsolete is not easy. Therefore the band found themselves in an uphill battle on this album Digimortal. So it came as no surprise that they would slightly compromise their musical approach. But on a positive note, the, the track Lynchpin is simply fantastic. And not forgetting all the musical compromise on this album. To some Pipetsu fans, the rap heavy back the F up sounds awkwardly out of place, but for me the track fits well on this album. And number eight is Transgression. The sound and production on this album is not quite top notch, but the saving graces on this album are the title track, Supernova, Moment of Impact, 140,000 degrees Fahrenheit and Empty Vision. Number 7 is Genexus. Silent with Nuclear Blast seems to have given Fifth Factory a rejuvenated but razor sharp focus on this album. It contains melodic components that the group ever seen mastered back in the 90s with frontman Bernd C. Bell. Expertly applied his well known clean vocals and tracks to anodized and dielectric. So despite the inclusion of clean vocals, Fifth Factory don't plan on going completely soft anytime soon. Songs like Soul Hacker and Promo. A pro match are extremely heavy examples of this. Number six is Mechanize. This album felt like a return to form, even decimating the sound barrier with some bangers like Power Shifter, Control Demolition, and Designing the Enemy. The closing track Final Exit is a delightful way to wrap up a record of such crushing proportions. And number five is Archetype. This album contains the thunderous opener Slave Labour and then the relentless battering number Corporate Cloning that hits the spot. It's worth a listen and even the honourable mention, Bite the Hand That Bleeds. And number four is Obsolete. So many high points in this album. Shock, Shresh of the Bower, Resurrection and Descent just to name a few. This was the album that boosted the popularity of the band and rightfully so. And number three is The Manufacture. On this album, the band fine-tuned their rougher elements of their sound and the results were nothing short of groundbreaking. There isn't a lackluster moment on this album whether it's self-biased resistor, new breed or replica. The manufacturer leaves an indelible mark on the decade and even to say, even to this day, is viewed as one of the most forward-thinking metal albums ever created. <coughs> <sighs> Number two is The Industrialist. The album this album production is wonderfully on point. Songs like Recharger, God Eater and Virus of Hope are generally intense apocalyptic, spicy and transcendent. Overall, The Industrialist is a solid album. Number one is Soul of a New Machine. After the release of this album, it was clear that Fifth Factory were a different monster altogether. Nobody else was mixing death and industrial metal apart from them, as well as producing genuine heavy hitters like Scapegoat and Threshold. As far as, the as, far as debut albums are concerned, this one was pretty ambitious.